Hello, and welcome to today's webinar, Empowering Innovation, a deeper look at Converge Academic and Explore programs brought to you by Convergent Science. Thank you for joining us today for this new installment of our webinar series. My name is Scott Davis. I'm part of the business development team at Convergent Science and will be your host for today's event. Convergent Science is a rapidly growing computational fluid dynamics software company. Our flagship product, Converge, is an industry-leading CFD solver used around the globe to simulate fluid flows in complex systems. Converge features truly autonomous meshing, which eliminates all user meshing time and helps provide fast, accurate results for our clients. Our speaker today is Hannah Lystra, and she is one of Convergent Science's university relations specialists. Hannah oversees the Converge licensing process for universities across North and South America, serving 97 academic institutions and over 400 academic users. Her role involves fostering strategic partnerships and ensuring a seamless licensing experience for educational institutions. Hannah has also been deeply involved in the Converge Explore program, a global professional development program. Hannah earned her bachelor's degree in public relations from Taylor University in 2020. Hannah, the time is now yours. Thank you, Scott, for that introduction. Today, we'll be discussing Convergent Sciences educational licenses through the Converge Academic and Converge Explore programs, and we will hear directly from academic users to see how access to Converge has benefited their research. So to provide an overview of this webinar, we will be looking at the Converge Academic program, including its features and benefits free resources available to users, and we will hear brief testimonials from two professors using Converge in different settings, as well as one student. We will also discuss the Converge academic competition, including hearing from this year's winner on his project, and we will end the webinar discussing Convergent Science's newest licensing opportunity, the Converge Explorer program, including a program overview and features and benefits. Convergent Science has been providing academic licenses since 2008 when commercial licenses were first sold. Since then, it has been a priority to continue enhancing the resources and experience for academic users globally. Currently, there are over 800 academic users at 200 universities benefiting from the Converge Explore program. Academic licenses for Converge can be used for classroom instruction, student design projects, in research laboratories, departmental use, and more. And as is shown on the bottom of the screen, um, excluded uses for the Converge academic program include consulting services, paid commercial projects, and research projects, including non-disclosure agreements. There are a wide variety of resources available to academic users, uh, including but not limited to those listed on the screen. The Converge Academic Program has used resources to benefit users with and without CFD experience. This includes free online, on-demand, and in-person training sessions, direct access to our support team, and collaboration opportunities. Users within the Converge Academic Program receive the full commercial license, including access to Converge Studio, the Converge Solver, and TechBlock for post-processing. Um, we will hear now from the two faculty members and the student that have contributed to this webinar also. So first up, we will hear from Jay Gore, who is a faculty member at Purdue University, on his experience and the experience of some of his students. Greetings. Um... Dr. J.P. Gore, the Riley Chair Professor of Mechanical Engineering since uh, 2000 at uh, Purdue University and formerly Associate Dean for Research and Entrepreneurship within the College of Engineering. That was between 2002 and 2007. I'm also Founding Director of Energy Center in Discovery Park, uh, and uh, I was the director between 2000 and 2005 here at Purdue. Uh, that 
kind of say is I've had a long academic career, starting as an assistant professor in mechanical engineering at the University of Maryland, way back in 1987 to 1991. I was recruited to uh, Purdue in as an associate professor in 1991 and then uh, promoted to full professor in 1995. My pre- and postdoctoral education was at the University of Michigan between 1985 and 1987. Uh, and my MSME was in 1982 and PhD in 1986 uh, from another Big Ten plus uh, university, uh, Penn State. My bachelor's of engineering was with, uh, with the top rank and gold medal from uh, University of Pune uh, in uh, India, now being called Bharat. Uh, I, I'm kind of aging myself by saying uh, I completed uh, my bachelor's in 1978. So the first thing I would say is that Converge is a wonderful computational platform that very young students like Cole uh, can use. Uh, PhD students have used it, postdoctoral students have used it, and even someone such as myself, uh, I can uh, utilize the platform. So uh, please do try it. And uh, my uh, compliments to the uh, staff at Converge uh, uh, for their friendliness in helping uh, me and my students uh, uh, utilize the great uh, features of the uh, of the platform uh, just quick clarification i am not a paid consultant and i'm not uh, utilizing this video to advertise uh, for converge i'm sharing with you as an academic my experiences so that uh, those of you in the academe can benefit uh, from uh, these as well as uh, I will uh, refer to some of my students who have joined industries, uh, and uh, I'll refer to that as we uh, go go forward. What initially uh, piqued my interest uh, uh, in Converge uh, was the I just introduced my educational background, and uh, I have known the great program. Uh, at another Big Ten uh, plus uh, university, University of Wisconsin in Madison, uh, starting with their National Science Foundation uh, Engineering Research Center. And uh, certainly uh, I uh, had become familiar with uh, uh, Converge founder uh, uh, Kelly Senecal's work uh, while he was still a graduate student at the University of Wisconsin in Madison. I knew Kelly, I knew he was. Uh, uh, a leader uh, right from uh, uh, the uh, time I first met him. And uh, uh, he, I must say he has certainly continued to be a leader in the community with his uh, interactions with many great academic institutions uh, uh, such as uh, such as Purdue. And uh, to quote uh, Kelly, the future is eclectic. So I believe in that and therefore I thought of uh, uh, seeing what Converge is all about. Certainly, I was aware that uh, the origin of the code was uh, based on perhaps uh, addressing issues related to uh, internal combustion engines. Uh, uh, and our applications typically tend to be in the uh, uh, gas turbines area, tend to be more not reciprocating, but rotating engine type applications. Uh, but even more specifically, we work on combustion problems. And the kind of problem that Cole Pempek is uh, looking at uh, is not uh, necessarily funded by the US Department of Energy or the Fe Federal Aviation Administration, who were two sponsors of our work in the gas turbines area. The gas turbine uh, related, gas turbine combustor related problem specifically involved hot surface ignition, which is uh, a scary phenomenon for those of us who fly. We uh, don't want to see 
any combustion start in our uh, uh, rotating machinery that uh, does uh, end up having very hot surfaces such as the turbine blades and even later stages of the uh, compressor. We want the combustion restricted to nicely controlled uh, areas within within the combustor. However, uh, accidents do happen and uh, many great corporations uh, plan uh, uh, their uh, uh, devices and their control systems and their activities uh, to allow for uh, one in million or one in billion type events even and so probabilistic uh, uh, design uh, is very important. Now, uh, we decided that uh, we want to address this very difficult problem of hot surface ignition of fuel uh, near a, a heated wall of a combustor. Lot of data are available based on uh, experiments done in the Air Force Research Laboratory, uh, as well as many other laboratories around the world and industry uh, manufacturers, uh, all the major manufacturers of engines, as well as all the major manufacturers of aircraft around the world have tremendous amount of data. So our involvement became uh, uh, utilization of these data to uh, first of all decide uh, what are, uh, they are definitely big data. There are lots and lots and lots of uh, terabytes and terabytes and terabytes of experimental data that are collected uh, very, very nicely. And uh, we certainly received those from many, many different sources. Uh, and you might ask, well, what is the role of Converge uh, or what is the role of a computational software that is three-dimensional, that is transient in connecting to the real world data. Usually what is done is uh, calibration, uh, tuning, uh, establishment of constants and so on and so forth. But our approach was not that. Our approach was that certainly converges on the basis of very fundamental equations. So we are not going to tune uh, the uh, computer program. Instead, we are going to learn from it, from its output by comparing it with uh, the so-called real world data, because the real world data also have some challenges in terms of noise, uncertainty, limitations in terms of where transducers can be placed. Uh, in other words, how fine a grid can they have in an experimental arrangement? So we said we will utilize Converge to make fine grid where fine grid is necessary. And the uh, software allows this in a beautiful manner. Parallel computing is allowed and you could put your very refined mesh in certain regions of the uh, uh, physical problem and you could run that on certain nodes while faster nodes, multiple nodes, while you run uh, the coarser nodes or the coarser part of the computational problem elsewhere and the software beautifully allows you to uh, treat the uh, disruption at, or the discontinuities at the boundaries uh, in a very uh, adaptive uh, manner. So adapt AMR feature of the Converge software uh, was one of the wonderful things that we, uh, uh, we benefited from. Uh, I should uh, continue to say, uh, uh, that uh, yet another uh, uh, benefit, and I, I kind of am answering the question about uh, as a researcher uh, sharing some of the key advantages I have experienced while uh, uh, using Converge. I'm very happy to share these uh, because I believe in cooperation and collaboration, which is the principle that Kelly Senecal and uh, uh, certainly uh, the entire Converge team, we have uh, observed them following uh, uh, this uh, uh, principle as well. Uh, so uh, uh, the uh, uh, 
to be honest, uh, I have uh, certainly utilized uh, many other software platforms. And one of the keys is that if you are a corporation, if you are working for a corporation such as Rolls-Royce, where my former student Luke Dillard works now, and Luke was, uh, Luke's been there for a couple of years, he certainly uh, utilized Converge while he was on the Purdue campus. But certainly in the corporation, he is using very large uh, software programs that are theirs that he cannot talk uh, much to me about. But uh, what I have learned from his supervisors as well as uh, Luke himself, his supervisors have said, uh, wow, Professor Gore send more students like Luke to us. Uh, Luke's uh, certainly doing really well. And so I said to Cole, who happens to be in this uh, conference, uh, Cole, uh, you might want to consider Rolls-Royce. Uh, however, what they said is that the students were able to utilize the features of uh, software that they are using within the corporation uh, relatively quickly based on their experience utilizing uh, the uh, educational platform uh, within the CAP uh, program that you run so very nicely, the Converge Academic Program. Uh, and that speaks to uh, sort of the standardization, if you will, or uh, uh, the experts uh, from one platform being able to transition to another platform depending on the environment they are working in and so forth. Another one of our students who uh, utilize Converge for big data, uh, is uh, uh, currently uh, working for Sandia National Laboratory. And uh, yet another student is working at uh, Google. Uh, and uh, certainly uh, Sandia is uh, very, very interested in uh, uh, specifically the problem we talked about, which involved uh, uh, lean blowout and uh, a fuel droplet uh, uh, catching uh, fire uh, in locations where it should not uh, uh, catch fire. But uh, uh, the uh, student who uh, is working with Google uh, is, uh, I kind of asked him, uh, Abhishek, uh, how come Google hired you coming from a combustion uh, group at uh, Purdue University? Uh, he says, well, uh, when I interviewed, I talked about the big data that emerged from combustion that you have used and that I was able to use uh, in uh, uh, connection with uh, computational combustion calculations, particularly using the Converge uh, uh, platform. And uh, then I said, oh, and then he said, well, professor, if someone else asked you, how come Google hired your student? You want to uh, say only one thing. I work with big data. I work with machine learning. I work with artificial intelligence and which one of those three things Google won't be interested in. So what I might say is that uh, my students become successful and receive uh, career options and career opportunities from all types of, uh, some of the students who utilize the platform here have uh, gone into uh, academia and uh, uh, so those are kind of the benefits that I have uh, uh, observed. Uh, certainly, I mentioned four or five of my students and how their careers have blossomed really quickly uh, within the last three to five years uh, of our uh, uh, utilizing the Converge Academic uh, Program and the Converge uh, uh, CFD uh, uh, software, uh, uh, if, if you will. So I think I have uh, uh, kind of uh, engaged in this conversation to uh, share my experiences about using a, uh, a, a, a computational tool, a resource that is available to academics and uh, that is available to professionals. Uh, and uh, uh, might I close with, by sharing a, a really good news that uh, we didn't plan to do this work to be nominated for an award called the Bement Award for the best research uh, at Purdue University in the 
over a particular year, 2021 in our case, this award we received in 2022. And uh, this was on the basis of uh, work that we have published in about half a dozen uh, uh, papers. And in three of those papers, we acknowledge the use of uh, Converge Academic Program-based uh, 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 CFD software. Uh, thank you so very much. Now we will hear from Cole Pampik, who is a student of JGOR at Purdue University. Hi, uh, my name is Cole Pempek. I am a master's student and a uh, graduate researcher working for uh, Dr. Gore's group at Purdue University. Um, and Converge really, uh, I came in as an experimentalist um, and in order to increase the robustness of my research and uh, um, help my understanding as well as uh, our understanding of what's going on with the physical systems and in, in the experiment, we decided to uh, add the use of Converge to my experimentation. And as someone with little uh, CFD experience going in, uh, Converge was um, surprisingly easy to uh, pick up and start applying to uh, my experiments. So yeah, in my experience, um, uh, I've been working with a counterflow burner, which is often described as uh, being a one-dimensional flow. Um, but in the real world, it's not a purely one-dimensional flow. And uh, Converge has really helped in highlighting the differences um, and the inaccuracies of uh, the 1D flow solvers um, and the one-dimensional assumptions that um, show really differences and discrepancies in uh, temperature variations and um, calculated temperatures versus measured temperatures in the system. Now we will hear from Scott Skeen, who is a faculty member at Utah Tech University, where he teaches with Converge in an undergraduate class. My name is Scott Skeen, and I'm an associate professor of mechanical engineering at Utah Tech University. Um, before joining Utah Tech University, I spent 10 years at Sandia National Laboratories as an experimentalist, where I studied combustion chemistry as well as high pressure spray combustion. Um, at Utah Tech, I teach a variety of courses. These include some freshman level coding courses, a couple of engineering mathematics courses, uh, sensors and actuators class that focuses a lot on data acquisition, uncertainty analysis, and statistics. Um, and then, of course, I teach fluid mechanics and an elective course in computational fluid dynamics. As I said earlier at Cindy, I was primarily an experimentalist, um, but I did work with a lot of different people who were using Converge to model the spray combustion facility at Sandia, as well as those that were using uh, Converge to model engine simulations. So because of the collaborations that I had, um, I was aware of Converge as a tool for several years, but I really didn't start using it until I started teaching the CFD course here at Utah Tech University. Because I'm teaching an undergraduate CFD course, primarily we're using Converge to model fairly simple systems, systems that the students would have seen in their undergraduate fluids course. And using Converge, we will take results that they can calculate from their undergraduate fluid mechanics course and then compare that with their Converge simulations. And what this allows them to do is gain a better understanding and more intuition for fluid mechanics and also learn how the CFD tool works compared to empirical correlations that they might have from their course, as well as uh, some of the other um, more simplified solutions that they found. So when I was working at Sandia, I had the opportunity at several at different conferences to actually visit with some of the founding members of Convergent Science and to learn more about Converge and its unique capabilities. So when I changed careers from doing research at Sandia to teaching, and I was given the opportunity to teach a CFD course, I considered Converge as one of the potential software uh, 
applications that we would use for this course. And then after demo demoing a few different CFD packages, I found that Converge's user interface, or I guess Converge Studio's user interface was a lot more intuitive and I felt like it was more versatile. I could see more of the different options uh, that were available to adapt the code to the type of problem we were trying to solve. Um, the case setup bar on the right hand side, at least in, in the way I'm running it, um, I felt like that really helped the students understand step by step how to set the case up and gave them an understanding of all the different parameters that were important in setting up a CFD simulation. So of course there are things for undergraduate at least that are probably over their heads or too complex and so it's nice that some of the default parameters in the more complex settings are already there so the students don't have to worry about certain aspects of it. I also really appreciate that it's that within Converge Studio you can set up a really simple geometry within just a few minutes and you can have a case running in 10 to 15 minutes and so if I have an hour or an hour and 15 minutes to complete a lecture we can have one or two cases already up and running before the lecture is over. And then lastly, I feel like the customer service that I've had from Converge as a user has just been exceptional. I have direct access via email to technical support, and oftentimes I'll receive a response within a day, a day if not sooner. Another excellent resource for students globally even outside of academic licensing is the annual Converge Academic Competition. In 2022, Convergent Science hosted the first annual Converge Academic Competition to provide students globally with access to licenses and support to contribute to the greater research community. The competition is open to all students regardless of whether or not they have CFD experience or are a current Converge user. Students participating in the academic competition receive a Converge license and a license for TechPlot for post-processing for their computer, access to free online training, the opportunity to work one-on-one -on -one with our support engineers during office hours, and many other excellent resources. Students participating in the competition benefit for years to come from the research that they conduct as a part of the Converge academic competition through webinars, blogs, and other work with Convergent Science. Um, so next we will hear from the winner of the 2022-2023 academic competition, Leonardo Pagamonsi, um, right now. Hi everyone, I am Leonardo Pagamonsi and I am a PhD student here at the University of Florence in Italy. Uh, the project of my PhD is uh, the development of fire servo elastic tools for the simulation of the next generation of horizontal axis wind turbines. Uh, during the last year, I have developed uh, this IR servo elastic tool uh, called Kalma. Uh, with, with this tool, I have uh, coupled uh, OpenFast, a widely validated and well known open source engineering tool with Converge CFD. Uh, for the Converge academic program, I have decided that it could have been very interesting to test it for the simulation of a tandem of horizontal axis wind turbines, more precisely to NREL 5 megawatt reference wind turbines. In this particular test case, I have uh, put uh, these two rotors, uh, one in the wake of the other, and the first one is firstly aligned with the flow, but uh, after a certain moment, this is subjected to the so-called Yeoman maneuver. So we um, uh, change the uh, angle of alignment with the flow uh, by rotating it, the rotor uh, around the axis of a certain angle. And what was interesting to, to see was uh, the effects on not only the performance uh, of the first turbine but also on the wakes uh, and on the performance of the second turbine. Um, this maneuver is uh, also well known as uh, uh, wake steering and it is widely adopted in the control of uh, wind farms. So it is very interesting, not only uh, as a test case, as a validation for uh, this tool, 
but also um, as a representation of uh, what happens in the real world uh, of wind farms. So for future developments it would be interesting to uh, enlarge the number of rotors, uh, the rotor models, the, this, the displacement, the uh, arrangement of the, of the turbines subjected to the analysis. And all of these thanks to the uh, Converge Academic Program. Uh, I would really like to thank the Converge CFD for the opportunity to attend this competition. And most important, I would also like to uh, thank uh, my research group, especially uh, Giovanni Ferrara and Alessandro Bianchini, uh, my tutor, for the opportunity not only to attend to start my PhD, but also to take part uh, to this uh, great work that is uh, uh, CFD, uh, applied to the analysis of wind turbines and wind energy uh, as well. If you are interested in participating in a future Converge Academic Competition, please take a look at our newsletters in the coming months and the registration will be announced there. Launched in June 2023, the Converge Explorer program was created to provide free licensing and training opportunities for individuals who do not currently qualify or have access to current Converge licensing structures, such as commercial licenses, Converge Horizon, or Converge Academic Program licenses. Examples of people who are a good candidate for Converge Explore are high school students or college students who do not have a faculty member to sponsor a licensing agreement, professionals preparing for their future career, or people interested in CFD for personal use. The Converge Explorer program aims to strengthen relationships with global CFD enthusiasts to create positive experiences for those users and to strengthen Converge research in newer application areas. It's important to note that we do not recommend current academic users also utilize the Converge Explorer program um, just because the licensing structures are a little different. Participants in the Converge Explore program receive a license for Converge that is valid for one year. Uh, this is a renewable license. Um, it comes with the full commercial features. Converge Explore licenses are limited to 500,000 cells, which can accommodate a very wide variety of simulation topics. Users within the Converge Explore program have access to tailored resources to provide them with direct access to the materials and downloads they need to be successful. The Converge CFD Basics, which are a series of tutorials of foundational CFD topics, such as grid refinement studies, flow over cylinder, and time advancement are currently exclusively available to participants within the Converge Explorer program, though they will be more widely available to all users in the future. The Converge Explorer program is tended for learning and professional development purposes only. If you are interested in using Converge for consulting or commercial purposes, our business development team would be happy to find a licensing solution that suits your needs fully. We will pause for questions. There is a QR code on the screen for both the Converge Academic Program and the Converge Explore Program. If you're interested in either of these licensing programs or you're not which would be a better fit for you, you can contact us at convergecfd.com um, through the Contact Us page. Thank you.